probably had some choice words about some of the things that you said that were dishonest within this motion. So I don't know that it was a conversation. As you know, Mr. Wade is a Southern gentleman. I mean, not so much. Uh, fiery Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis took the stand this afternoon in a misconduct hearing against her. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Tom Haynes and for Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. This all comes after a co-defendant in the election interference case filed a motion to disqualify Willis and her office from the case. This due to a romantic relationship between her and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis was in the courthouse and joins us now live with more of this trial Randy or hearing or uh, whatever you want to call it was so riveting today tough to turn away from sure was Tom yeah and Bonnie Willis testified for about two hours today she is gonna be back on the stand tomorrow to finish up her testimony and yes it was quite a showdown a clearly perturbed DA answering questions under oath in a hearing that could spell disaster for her election interference case so let's be clear, because you've lied in this, this. Let me tell you which one you lied in. Right here. I think you lied right here. No, 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 no. This is the truth. Judge, and this, it, it, it is a lie. It is a lie. Ms. Willis? You see. Rarely does a prosecutor in a criminal case get questioned under oath by the defendant's attorneys. But it was clear long ago the election interference case against Donald Trump and 14 others now is no typical prosecution. We're talking about professionalism. No, while we're talking about professionalism, she put in three different documents well, he lived with me. Full opportunity to respond. A defiant Fonnie Willis testified she and Nathan Wade dated for about a year after she brought him in as a special prosecutor. But they've done nothing improper, she said and she did not benefit financially from the relationship. In the first three months of 2021, when I could still enjoy my home, Mr. Wade never came to South Fulton, and it is certainly a lie that he lived with me. Wade testified his marriage was irretrievably broken in 2015, but he and his wife decided to stay together until their children were out of school. When did your romantic relationship with Ms. Willis begin? 2022. When? In 2022. Early 2022. That would have been after he was hired by Willis to manage the racketeering case against Donald Trump and others. Wade said the two didn't travel together before then, and they roughly split vacation expenses, with Willis paying him back in cash. You don't have a single solitary deposit slip to corroborate or support any of your allegations that you were paid by Mrs. Willis in cash, do you? No, sir. Not a single solitary one. Not a one. Willis confirms she reimbursed Wade in cash, explaining her father always advised her to keep six months cash on hand since she's a single woman. I, I don't know why this old black man feels like that, but he does. When we were growing up, my daddy had three safes in the house. So my father's bought me a lockbox, and I always keep cash in the house. Defense attorneys argue Willis only hired Wade, paying him more than $650,000 so far, so she could get a financial benefit from all those trips. But throughout her testimony, Willis was defiant. I object to you getting records. You've been intrusive into people's personal lives. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. So, Judge uh, Scott McAfee must uh, decide now what to do about this case once uh, testimony wraps up tomorrow. He has indicated that he really wants to focus on two issues here. Did the relationship between the two of them predate Willis's hiring of Wade? And second, perhaps more importantly, did she financially benefit from her decision to hire Nathan Wade? There was some conflicting testimony about the first, whether it predated it or not, but it's been consistent, at least as far as the, the two of them are concerned. They both swore under oath that uh, the expenses were roughly uh, shared among the two of them, uh, and uh, the expenses were paid in cash, and there are no receipts. Reporting live from Fulton County, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. Yeah, just it's such a back and forth all throughout the day. A lot was said in court today. Randy, thanks.